This is my road. You can't really see it, but it says like four gill, which means four lane or something like that. And we're walking to my apartment. I just came from the store. So, walking up the road. I make a quick right here on the Four Gill Road. And this first apartment that you're looking at is my complex, apartment complex. Just walking up. Do, 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 do. And the, all the complexes I think out here have like names. Uh, mine is called, what is mine called? Hmm, Greenville or Green Village. So you'll see it, it's in Korean though. Right here, here excuse me, everyone will know. Okay, you live in apartment complex Green Village. So that's it, I just remember it by this number here. I'm like, I live in number nine. If you can see, let me move up closer. So anyway, that's number nine. And this is where my co-teacher usually parks, right here in this space. So then we have this fancy little sliding door thing here, and you have to input the code. And this is me, never mind my get up. I'm gonna turn it away so you can't see my code. And the door opens. Ooh, fancy. Oh, ouch. Not so fancy. I almost got hit by the door. And then, and then I walk up to my place. So that was just like the ground floor. And then you walk up. And then we're actually on the first floor now. So, do, 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 do. One more flight of steps. Then we'll be on the second floor. So now we're on the second floor. As you can see, that's 206. The lights automatically come on. I'm now, I'm at the end. I am 202. So let me put in my code. So I'll just let you see it again. I just like the way that lights up. Ooh. Oh, dear. Hold on. Ah, there we go. So when you first walk in, you have a little place where you put your shoes. And as you can see, I have my Old Faithful Toms. My sandals are right here. And then, let me close the door. I have my little kitchen area. If I move over, you can see it more. Here's my refrigerator. My refrigerator. Then if I turn to the left, the little cabinet space. I don't know if that's for shoes or if that's for spices. I probably will use it for I'll be sanitary and use it for spices, but I just have all of this closet space that I'm sure I can use for spices because I don't really cook all that much, so I can't imagine me filling everything with seasonings and pots and pans. Nevertheless, this is my, nevertheless, my kitchen sink, the rack for my dishes. As you can see, I found like a Western style restaurant and got me some chicken strips. My little burner i guess and then where i put my trash we can make this really cribs like i did well i just came from doing a little bit of grocery shopping but i'll get to that maybe later but anyway this is what i have now i want you guys to see the real deal i just moved in of course yes nothing but this is my gift for my landlord water <laughs> so this is my little mini fridge and then this is the freezer nothing in there everything is clean 
so let's do another 360 i don't know where the light is for this baby but anyway the door the cabinet the fridge there we go oh it automatically comes on there's the light and the cooking station i guess look at those beautiful colors red yellow and white all right so then you have this door separator don't know what it's called but i go in to my living room slash bedroom slash dining room slash living space i'll start from this corner where i have the coat rack and i just have my umbrella then there's my workstation until I get a desk, if I get a desk. My laptop. And that's it. I'll give you guys a nice backdrop view. This is the little painting, I guess, that's on the wall. Air conditioner. And then TV. And TV stand. Right next to it is my bed simple twin size bed which is just enough for me then i have a window pretty cool view let's look outside my little town our city and then right here from the window there's this big closet let's open it's nothing in here, of course, because I literally just moved in about an hour ago. But I still have my two sweaters that are hanging up, my purse, my little beanie, my carry-on luggage. So this is a good amount of space for the short time that I'm here, which will probably be a, a year. Good amount of space to put all my clothes, um, my clothes up, and maybe I'll put my shoes where my purse is, or maybe even on the floor. I don't know and maybe just put all my purses and bags here but who knows but anyway that's my little closet space so let me pan out again so I can give you a full view of this left side of the room so the closet window bed right next to the TV and little mini workstation and coat rack now let's do Look at this wall space. The closet is actually on this wall. Nevertheless, this is my, I don't know what to call it, but I just call it my washing room space or just my laundry space. So you see that it's closed right now. Um, so it's sort of like a little separate room, I guess. I really suck at describing homes because I just don't know how. But if you open the door, let me open it some more, you see outside of my towel, I have another window with another view, which is cool. I like having windows near um, the laundry space. I think it just gets a little bit of more fresh air. So there's my window. Um, here is my washing machine. I am assuming it's new, that's why this tape is there. Oh yeah, I don't want to peel it off. But anyway, it's a Samsung washing machine. It's very fancy, I'm not gonna pull off the tape. But anyway, I just learned that this means to cut it on, this means to start, and that's basically all you need, so that's cool. Sorry, I had to switch cameras because my other camera, my actual camera, the. I guess the memory card didn't have enough space, but I think we left off on my washing machine. Anyway, um, this is it. It's a, I want to say, close to new Samsung washing machine. It still has a plastic on top. I'll zoom down, get a good look at all this floor space. I guess if I have, want to get some more storage, I can just have shelves and things. I don't know what that's for, but maybe if I have wet shoes, I guess I can use it for that. And then the top is my little hanging area you can't really see it all that well but i just have a t two towels up there that i used um after i took a shower so they're hanging dry this is where i'll hang all my clothes dry so yeah
yeah, this is my little laundry room. Laundry room. That's a good word for it. Laundry room. It's pretty spacious. I mean, for the time being. Close the door back. Let's get a wide view. Excuse the cinematography. I'm on my iPhone right now, and I don't know how to really zoom and get good video footage. Anyway, so you see that door right there? Yep, that's my bathroom door. So let's go in here. Um, first things first. All spaces in Korea, they have shower shoes. So here are my shower shoes. Another gift from my landlord. And then typical bathroom stuff, storage. I like this little guy. It's like two mirrors. I'm assuming it's a cabinet. Never really opened it. Let's see. Ooh. Maybe I don't like that little guy. But anyway, my mirror, my sink, the extended, extended sink. <laughs> I don't know. And then here's the gotcha gotcha. In Korea, they don't really have separate space for showering. Showering? Jeez, my tongue. Cannot talk today. Loose my tongue. <laughs> showering. So I just have the shower head. And like all of this is space, right? With that shower head, I just basically take a shower and all of the water is drained here. So everything gets wet. Some more products. Everything gets wet. Don't know what that is. And I have a window, but let's go back to the to the issue at hand. This is my shower head. There is no way that stuff on this sink is not gonna get wet. So I'm assuming I would have to move all of my stuff over here. I don't know. But anyway, that that I have to get used to in Korea. Like I can literally just move that around all up throughout the bathroom. I can just wet it all up. That's different. But, you know, when in Rome, or when in Korea, my heating system, that guy right there, and this is to turn on the bathroom, turn off and off the bathroom light. Little phone, if someone buzzes downstairs or wants to get in, that's to help them get in. And then we're back at the main wall where I come in. As you can see, that's the door where I entered. And then I just have some luggage and two packages from the arrival store, which has like my bedding. I ordered bedding so I can just pick it up while I'm here. So bedding and pillows and all of that good stuff. Can't wait to unpack. So that's it. So let's just do 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 Quick recap. Kitchen. Do 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 Kitchen. Do the 360 laundry room, closet, window, bed, TV, everything. It's come from this angle so you can see all of my floor space, which is great. It's like all wooden floors, which probably is going to be cold in the um, winter, but I hear they heat up floors out here, heat up, so I'll have heated floors. <sighs> I still have to unpack and I just wanted to clean again, but I'm good. I'm happy with it. So, deuces. Can you see that? Bye, guys.